Welcome to In Real Time, where we as Heights Church are inviting you in for real conversations about leading people, organizations, and change in the new normal. We're hoping that our real discussions about our church's journey will help you as you reimagine and rebuild yours. Welcome to In Real Time, where we're having real conversations about leading people, organization, and change. And today we're going to be talking about the power of trust. And it's literally the fuel that drives your team leadership. So we're going to dive into that in a minute, but I've got two co-hosts with me, so I'm going to let them introduce themselves. I'm Jen Yarbrough, one of our associate pastors here, serving in administration and restoration ministries. Ooh, restoration yeah. ministries. It's my friend Tim. So good. It's, my fr- <laughs> it's my friend Tim. Inside joke. It's an inside joke. <laughs> and I We're am all Tim. lost at this I, point, I but okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm also an associate pastor here. I oversee the online campus. I'm a teaching pastor and the men's pastor. So good. So good. Well, I'm glad you guys are here with me. And today we're going to be extending our conversation from last week because we felt like there was a little bit more we wanted to talk about in regards to the time off that I'm going to be taking this summer. Now, I'm not gloating to tell you that I'm taking some time off this summer again. I'm not (laughs) gloating. Sounds like it to me. But there is something that we thought was very important here that we didn't get to talk about last time. So I'm going to be taking off about six weeks here this summer, but just five weekends I'll be away. And the, the ability for me to do that is really predicated on a a couple of things. And we talked last time about the preparation that takes place. And so that was important. Yes. This time I want to talk about the power of trust, which was a, a real key component. And it's involved in the idea of preparation, but it even goes beyond that. And so this trust is really what powers team leadership We believe in team leadership in a a huge way here, and there's a lot to be said about team leadership, but this piece of trust is what underlays this whole uh, idea of um, the confidence that I have in being able to Mm -hmm. take this time off this summer. So we felt like it was worth talking about, and uh, I'm not sure how long this one is going to go for. I don't think it's going to go for a long time, this podcast, but... This is a very important topic, no matter how much time we spend on it today. So the first thing I want to say about this is that I can go away and trust because I know that my team, all of you, and you guys are two of uh, a larger team, I know that I, um, I can trust you because you're people of character. You're people of character because I've been with you. We have been in the battles together, mm. yeah. and I know that that we want the same things, right. and that we we've been in the race together for long enough that I know I can trust your heart, your character in these things. You may not do everything exactly the way I would do it, but I don't need that because there's more than one way things can be done, mm-hmm. and I yeah. I know that your character will lead you in that way because that's the real that's the real thing the uh, i love proverbs says the integrity of the upright will lead them what that means is the good character of that person will lead them to the right answer Mm. and i know that's true about you guys and so it's important that we recognize trust has been built yeah and um I got a question for you guys, though, because there's there's trust. It goes both ways for sure, mm-hmm. because uh, sometimes people have handed me things and I thought, uh, I don't want this. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I don't <laughs> trust that. In fact, I have I have said no to opportunities because I literally uh, I said no to, to some really big things because I knew that the people who wanted to give it to me, I didn't trust that they had prepared me well for it. In fact, mm-hmm. I knew that they didn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were doing it because they wanted out. They weren't doing it because they knew I could okay. handle it. Mm. In fact, I was pretty sure I would fail. I had a strong mm. enough assessment of myself to know mm. I'm not ready for this. Oh. Uh, the motive behind right. this is not good. Right. And so 
um, I said no to it. Mm. What have I done that has given you guys confidence that you know it's going to be great while I'm gone? Yeah, I know. Immediately, I just think of our weekly staff meeting. And what you do is you don't make the big decisions and process the the things that really are taking a lot of prayer and discussion, you don't do that away on your own. Mm -hmm. You bring those to the meetings and then we get to discuss it as a team. But as you do that, you are sharing your thought with us, your perspective, Mm. your priority, your heart. And that brings us to an understanding, okay, now I'm learning how Craig thinks. Now I know what Craig's heart is. Mm -hmm. Now I know what his priorities are. And so when you're off, I need to lean into that same way of behaving and thinking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it makes it a a place of confidence, really. And even between us, if something comes up and, and you're gone, we pull ourselves together and just figure out, okay, what would Craig do right now? Mm-hmm. And we can yep. most times yeah. figure it out and yep. make a good solid decision yep. yeah. because yeah. of that. I agree. You've invited us into a process and uh, we get to walk through this process. And along the way, you're sharing your hearts, uh, your heart on the matter, what you believe God would have you do, but then you leave room for our own personalities, our own thoughts and ideas, and we mm-hmm. we get to put them all out there. And I love how we get to, um, as this cohesive team, come to an understanding. And over time, what that has done is sets, sets our culture. Mm-hmm. So our culture yeah. has, can, has, can dictate our behavior, mm-hmm. not my nature. Yeah. Because my mm-hmm. nature doesn't always line up with our culture <laughs> so that's what's it's been a huge yeah. help yeah and that's allowed me to grow in in my own life too yeah mm-hmm. yeah because mm-hmm. i believe in our culture it's good yeah we've that's seen good. it work over time it's just mm-hmm. yeah. awesome it's really yeah. special and we want to fight for it even i think and guard Absolutely. it yeah. and Sacrifice we don't want it, it to start tweaking off one way on the side so yeah. that's right that's yeah. right because we do we say do. when things happen we have said yeah we don't we don't respond that way. That's not how we do things. That's and I, I and I hear the great part is yeah. there's power in the we. That's, oh yeah, I just was thinking yeah. that you've done two things there. You've created mm-hmm. ownership now. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you've also built trust. <laughs> yes. between us. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And in that, we can then move with confidence. Mm-hmm. We're not like, Ooh. no, we move with confidence. Mm-hmm. We've worked together as a team, and we've made that decision and. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, it's I love good. too. There's this sense that we've got each other's backs too, yeah. and and we really can discuss things with each other, and just be real. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is what I'm thinking, but what do you think I should do? And right. Yeah. Just to have that kind of sense of I've got your back, but I'm definitely gonna help you go the right direction. I'm gonna speak mm-hmm. truth to you, mm-hmm. grace all that, and it's just a really really good atmosphere to be working in. Yeah. I, I'm grateful for it. Same. I think that comes back to this issue of character because mm. I know that yep. really humility good. is a high point and someday we're going to do a podcast on the power of humility that's yeah. already on the list. But good. Uh, that humility is uh, all of you are really, really strong leaders in your out own rights and, mm-hmm. and yet they're, one of the things that makes you a strong leader is your humility. Uh, our whole team has this component this of their character, and it's one of our strengths because there is a humility, yeah. which means we can listen to others and we can get better. We all just want to get better yeah. right. instead of, I know I want to be yes. right. Well, yeah. no, that's different. Great point. Right. No, no, I don't want to be right. I want to make it better. This last Sunday after first service, I don't want to be right. I want that sermon to be better because I got another message coming and I want it to be even better. That's right. And so you guys give me good feedback there and we made some a, a tweak or two and I think yeah. it, it was better mm. because of that. And directly I'm from glad. you, Miss Jen, I know that <laughs> I had a really good comment from you. Oh. And so, you know, I think those are the pieces of it. And I know that there's a humility about us that we can work yeah. it out. If I don't know exactly, yeah. I know that I can get somebody else and we're going to have a conversation together. And I know that as a team, you're going to do that yeah. while I'm gone. I trust that. Well, yeah. and you've fostered that yourself. You model that posture of humility too, which, you know, a lot of lead pastors may not do that. And so it's a blessing mm-hmm. to serve under you. But 
um, it's a good thing. I was going to say something else, but I lost my train of thought. So that's okay. Uh, that, that last thing you said <laughs> was really back. good. Yeah. I might give you a raise over that one. So, so, um, I, I think, uh, that, uh, there's a lot of confidence I have in you guys for sure. I know that, you know, my heart, I know that whenever you approach a problem, you're going to want to resolve it. Um, is close to what I would like, which is according to our culture. I don't need you to be mini Craig's. Mm -hmm. I just need us to operate within our culture. And that, that is good enough because yeah. I love our culture. I think our culture highlights the right mm -hmm. things, yeah. but let's just be really specific. I know that while I'm gone, if a conflict arises, yeah. then what I know is that, you know, the goal is resolve. resolve. Yeah. It's not to tee off and to nope. say, oh man, this is what I came back with. Mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> that is not going to impress me. Mm. No. Nope. And I know that you're not people who are going to want to do that. You know that the goal is to resolve a conflict. Financially, if there's a problem, it's to stay on budget and yeah. to be good stewards of what God has put in our hands. We want to show good stewardship. And that might mean saying no and pulling back. Yeah. But I know that you guys know the goal. Mm -hmm. If it's a weekend gathering, we know the goal. It's to uh, for our people to experience God. Yes. And so that's the goal, and you guys are going to achieve that because we do it every weekend, mm -hmm. anytime we come together for any event. Yeah. And I know if there's a leadership failure, mm -hmm. then whether that's uh, maybe one of our, who knows what it would be, somebody on our staff team or even if it's somebody, which I would probably find out about because Jerry's going to make a phone call to me. Mm -hmm. But if it's even one of our yeah. leaders, leaders, you know, the goal is grace. Yes. It's truth. And it's also restoration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys know that because we've done this so many times yes. together. Multiple and so times. I have confidence there. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I know, oh yeah, these guys love the baby. Mm -hmm. Like I love the baby. Mm -hmm. That's right. And so this is not just my baby. It's our baby. Mm -hmm. And we've intentionally, intentionally equipped for each one of these scenarios, yes. uh, just as an ongoing process. So right. I love that. Um, Me too. And I, I think the thing for me uh, would be the things that staff does to give me confidence mm. is you were mentioning earlier that, you know, I share in staff meetings, you know, about how I think about something. Right. And what gives me confidence is that staff is listening. Mm, yeah. And I can tell. Okay. I know. I know you guys are listening. I know that you do care about what I think about that situation or mm. what is most important to me about that particular scenario. And eventually you do enough of these and you realize, oh yeah, yeah that's not going to be as important in this scenario mm. because of this. Mm. And you guys are starting to be able to do those and pull them apart. And you guys get to help me because we've done this together. We're like, yeah, I'm not sure that's the most important thing. And you guys convince me you're right. That's not. <laughs> and so, but we've mm. talked it out together, but right. knowing the goal mm -hmm. in each one of these problems, what's the spirit of what we're trying to do here rather yeah. than the legalistic law? Right. right. I know you guys know that or mm -hmm. can get there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I've got great trust because of that. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned it earlier. That's about longevity. Yes. That's a benefit of longevity. Right. Yep. Yeah. Somebody's yeah. been with you two weeks. They're not going to know what you think about mm -hmm. that. No. no, no, no. We've stood this test of time together and you're right. We do know each other's character by yeah. now. Mm -hmm. And that is a gift there. Yeah, it is. It is. Because trust is built. I mean, it's to a certain degree. Sometimes trust literally involves having to take a leap of faith and letting go of control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you've done the work to build the trust, mm -hmm. it's easier to let go. Yeah. of the control of it and you can tell yourself no my team has got this yeah we have put the foundation down there and i can take this time off i need to take this time off yeah so i'm just gonna ignore whatever fear or anxiety it might be mm -hmm. coming into the mix right. and do the right thing yeah and do that self-care that god calls us all to yeah it's good. Yeah. Yep. Um, I think the last thing I would say about it is I have confidence because I know that we all are in agreement about the game plan. And the game yes. plan really guides us. That's it. Mm -hmm. We know what our vision is. We know what our mm -hmm. mission is. And we stake to it. And mm -hmm. It's not just yeah. something we talk, take out once a year. We all know right. it. We know what our core values are. We know what the expectations of each of us are mm -hmm. to one another that we're accountable to each other for. 
uh, with our job responsibilities and just how we handle ourselves. Yeah, and brings, we know what is going to make us yes. successful this summer. Yeah, because we've already agreed to it. Right. We all came over together. Yes, it's great clarity. Yeah, and that's another piece that builds trust. Yeah, being as clear and communicating as much as possible, yeah. and that just simplifies it. The game plans right yeah. there. So, so good. Mm -hmm. So uh, we talked about this game plan just a couple of episodes ago, and I know that we talked about it in January as well in an extensive uh, way. So you yeah. can take a look at those. But uh, the power of trust, it is the fuel that powers team leadership. And there's a lot more we could talk about it, but these are the things right now that are most meaningful as I'm about to take some time off this summer. Right. And uh, well, one of those things is I'm trusting that this staff team is going <laughs> to do some amazing work on the podcast for a couple of episodes That's as right. you guys do a staff Ooh. take over. Ooh. And uh, yeah. I understand it's going to be yeah. a lot of Pastor fun, Ryan's yeah. got unique and creative. Up his sleeve. Yeah. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, tuning into those but uh anyway anything else we need to say about this one no no i don't think so okay no. good well thanks for joining me yep. for a real conversation about leading people organization and change and if you like this episode which i know you did because it was really helpful and really good they said a lot of really good things uh please hit the <laughs> like subscribe and the bell notification share this with a friend somebody that you believe it would be helpful to and help us get the word out about in real time because we're here to be a great encouragement to the local church. So uh, we thank you for being with us today and we look forward to seeing you again next time in real time.